Welcome back to project, what were we going to call it? No name, wasn't it? Yeah, project no name, because it's not allowed to have a name because we'd be tempted to keep it if we gave it a name. As you can see behind me, I've, well we've been doing some work on it this afternoon. We've put the all speed subframe on, on the front, just to see how it fitted. It was pretty good actually, it was only one hole in the in the floor they needed a little bit of enlarging and uh, we've also been looking at the inner wings and how they fit round the frame and we've come up with some ways to alter that from how it shows in the all speed guide obviously we've had Christopher's car as reference and now we know where you need more room and where you can probably keep more inner wing than what you would think so you can see the inner wings hanging off the front there's one, and I don't know where the other one is actually. Oh, it's, it's behind it. And what we've done is, you can see we've chopped a big, pardon me, we've chopped a big section of it out. Um, and I'm going to refine it as time goes by, but basically that's as much as you, as you can keep. And then this one, I'm trying not to cut my fingers to pieces is the radiator side as you can see by the uh, where the fins used to be um, and the plan is to alter that one by cutting a slice slice out of it and hold on the phone's ringing right where was I before the phone rang yeah so this is your normal uh, radiator side in the wing and the plan is to chop it and bend it as you can see there to um, basically give yourself a lot more room when you're changing the, the engine it's really really tight in that corner down here below the thumb where the uh, sticker is so by pulling the whole panel in and re-welding it and reshaping it it should be just as neat and uh, give you a lot more room so tomorrow's work we'll probably do some stuff on that, do a bit more chopping and changing, a bit of welding, a bit of toggling, a bit of hole punching, etc, etc. And uh, I'll show you uh, what progress I've made by the end of tomorrow. Okay then, progress report so far on the inner wing. That's what it looks like. Fascinating. As you can see, I've welded it in so far and um, what I did was I formed a, a lip with the uh, joggler tool and then put some holes in the lip that was going over that and then uh, clamped it all together and welded it through. The idea is you have a nice straight panel going down towards this corner and then, then in this bottom corner in here I'm going to fill it in and then get rid of all these sharp edges and make it a nice transition all the way across and round. So that'll be the plan, but uh, we're busy doing other things at the moment, so this is slightly gone on the back burner. Also you can see we brought the engine up, or the block, uh, and I've made some adaptations to a framework to hold it, and then the idea is to build that up. Uh, put the gearbox on which is on the floor in front of me and then put it in the frame and then put the cylinder head on and then check the clearance in there on the inlet manifold and see if we need to keep that bulkhead box or we can get rid of it. Right so that'll be it for today. I'm working, oh, I'm just finished working on Bumblebee you can see in the background there. Uh, I'm actually working on the charge cooling system uh, so the next job on the VTEC will be to sort out that engine and build it up a bit more and work out what all the parts are in the various boxes at home and then bolt it all together. Uh, at the same time I'm also working on the charge cooling system on Bumblebee. Christopher's working on the Clubman Estate VTEC. I've got work to do on Austin and the Porsche's playing up as well now. So, joy! So as per usual, like, comment, subscribe, all the usual jazz. I'll see you on the next video, which will be, I'm not sure whether, probably the next one you'll see, it'll be the 1071 carburation setup one. 
and then after that it's 1071 wiring and then in the meantime I'll keep filming some parts on Bumblebee on the cooling system on the charge cooling system and see what else crops up <laughs> 